What's going on guys? Out here today, basically me filming some footage for you guys on installing an actual oil catch can on a 90-96 Nissan 300ZX. What's been going on is that we did our uh, PCV delete um, and by doing a little bit of research and by getting some help from uh, Z, some other Z32 enthusiasts, we noticed that our PCV delete uh, was actually just a temporary system just basically for me to uh, finish my day drifting at the track or whatnot, this and that but it's actually not the proper way to actually ventilate the positive crankcase uh, ventilation system. So that's why we're actually gonna be installing our oil catch can. Um, it's a pretty easy, simple step. Most of the time that you're gonna be spending is actually measuring um, and like where place, like the placement is that you guys are gonna wanna put your oil catch can. Um, I'm gonna actually put mine under the nose panel under here. So uh, it's basically gonna be hidden. Everything's gonna look symmetrical. So um, let's get into it and I'll show you guys exactly uh, what I'm doing. So mainly uh, you're, you can get an oil catch can, I mean from anywhere. So you can go from like Mishimoto to Amazon to eBay to whatever. Um, since mainly my drift car is a project build and I'm in school and I'm spending crazy money in school, uh, I just went with like the cheaper version. Um, catch cans can run from, I mean, $25, which this one is, to... Uh, like $300 and it's just got like different filters different uh, baffling systems all that jazz So practically what I'm going to show you guys to do is actually set how to set up your oil catch can and then from setting up the oil catch can We'll actually uh, show you like the baffling system and all that inside here for the $25 catch can It actually comes with a bunch of hardware uh, some extra hose which I don't think is going to be enough and uh, some steel wool to actually help with like the baffling. So I can show you, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how this system works. So by looking at the actual oil catch can, it's literally like a can, like an empty can. I unscrewed the top here. The top, you can actually see the baffle there, the baffle with the dipstick. And I mean, mainly that's it. All we're gonna do is unscrew the baffle, put the steel wool inside the baffle to just help with like filtering. And uh, yeah, screw it back up and then we'll start running the lines. Once you get the actual uh, like filter baffle unscrewed here, you're gonna use your steel wool that they give you. Obviously, this isn't gonna fit all in here, so you're just gonna use a pair of snips and cut off just a little bit. And once you cut it off, you're gonna be able to like put that in the actual baffle, and then you're gonna screw the baffle back on. As you guys can see, I put the steel wool in there. So all I'm basically gonna do is make sure that none of it's hanging out of the actual baffle, and I'm just gonna screw the baffle back into the cap of the uh, catch can. So once you guys actually get that uh, baffle screwed back on, you can basically just put this together. But you wanna make sure that you have that uh, seal here, so that big O-ring on the bottom of the catch can. But yeah, basically we're gonna do that. Screw this back on. And then from screwing this back on, we're gonna actually match up the port size of what we need. So they send you two big ones and two small ones. So we're gonna see what size we need for the actual uh, hose type. So our first step here is we're gonna start taking the lines off of the valve covers. The reason being is that since we did our PCV delete in our previous video with these rubberized caps on each side, the passenger side and the driver side, we need to ventilate this properly. So uh, we're gonna take the line off this valve cover right here, as you can see, it runs to the intake piping. What we're gonna do is on each side, the driver side and the passenger side is take that line off. We're gonna run that line down through, uh, through basically like under the headlight housing into here and we're gonna tee up each side. So the driver's side and the passenger side are gonna come off, end up under here. We're gonna tee it, and then we're gonna run one line into the in here. So valve covers to the inlet, and then we're gonna do practically the same thing, but we're gonna run a line coming off the intakes now, or the intake piping from here and here we're gonna run those two lines under to the out. So we're gonna run those two lines, put a T in, and then to the out. And by the T that I'm talking about is this piece. So if you're looking at it, trying to hold it up here for you guys. So if you're looking at it, right, you're gonna have the driver's side come to this, the passenger side come to this piece, and then this piece, a hose is gonna come off into the in and the out. So I have two of these one for the valve covers and then one for the intake piping. 
So working on the passenger side first, off the valve cover here, you're gonna have a clamp on the hose. So you're gonna uh, put like a long needle nose plier through here, get that clamp off, and then do the same thing for the intake piping. So then what you'll be able to do is just pop this off, and then this one you'll pop off. Coming off of there, what we'll do is uh, find out the hose size that we actually need. They actually give you two size of like uh, nipples here. And the bigger ones are actually perfect for the size that we just took off of the hose. So it slides right on. This is, uh, so I would say, I would stick with this size piping just to the fact that uh, it's gonna make things a lot easier. Uh, if you run the smaller inlets or like the nipples here, basically what you could run into is that you would need like a smaller adapter, so like a large size to a small size or whatever like that. So I'm trying to just keep it all one size, even though the, um, this is five eighths heater hose. Um, I mean, this is, it could be overkill. It could be a lot, but like I said, I just want to make things simple for this. So if something were to happen in drifting or whatnot, it's just easy to replace and everything's the same. So that's why I'm doing it like that. Now, since I have that line off, I'm going to basically measure up. So I'm going to put my new hose on. I'm going to measure up going down through here, running it, kind of hiding it, running it through the intake piping around to the front. What we're going to do is we're going to hide this catch can right above our power steering cooler right here. I basically just mocked it up real quick. I just threw some zip ties against that bracket. Um, but basically this is like where I want to place it. So it's going to sit basically just like that. Um, if anything, I can tilt it a little bit or whatnot, but the bracket actually sit, there's like a divot within the radiator, like straight arm bracket that you can actually put the mounting bracket on this kind of in it. So it fits pretty, pretty flush. So it's pretty sweet. This is what it's looking like right now. So what I did is I ran that line from the valve cover down around here. Then I actually zip tied the line so it would stay away from the radiator to uh, the bracket where the actual intake piping is running against the fire or like the frame rail. Zip tied that up, put the T in, and then ran the line from the T to the oil catch can. And when this is actually going to be stable enough, it'll be hidden like that. So then this line right here is going to be the line going from the uh, driver's side valve cover. It's gonna come around, under, and around, and up, behind here, like behind your math basically, and run into here. So that's gonna be your in. So all that low by on such will be going here. So in here, to in, to in on the oil catch can. And then the out, we're gonna run another line just like this. So one line coming out to a T on this side, and then those will be going to the intake pipes. So here and here. So right now I'm gonna run the driver's side valve cover line into the in uh, T here to finish up the in port, and then we'll start working on the out port. I finished up the uh, in port here. So now what we're gonna do is practically this same idea, just on this part here on the intake piping, this part here on the intake piping, and we're gonna go to the out port so the out port on the oil catch can all right guys so everything's finished now so i have everything set up the way that i want it to um it's pretty much symmetrical uh there's like a little couple things that i can i need to like zip tie up just to keep it away from the radiator again because you see that so i gotta zip tie uh i'm pretty sure it's this line up against the uh frame rail there this side I already zip tied up so it's not touching the radiator but uh yeah it's done so i'm super pumped um pretty easy uh the most time consuming part is like i said running that line and trying to figure out like where you want like your t's and whatever but um so overall i'll show you exactly what i did so first thing put the oil catch can against the center support uh radiator support beam um put that there then basically what i did is i ran this line on the passenger side under around here and then it came to a T. And then going to that T is the other side, the driver's side. So I've ran that down around. It comes right through here, around to the T. And then I put this line from the uh, bottom of the T to the in port. Then for the out port, 
all I did was I ran a line from the intake piping down and under to this T right here. And then I ran this intake line from here down around here, here to here to that T. And then I put this line down and under into the out port on the uh, oil catch can. And that's it guys, it's really simple. Um, just make sure you clamp everything down. Uh, so I still gotta clamp up the ones for the uh, valve covers, but uh, yeah, just clamp everything down and you're good to go. So I just wanna thank you guys again for all the comments, all you Z32 enthusiasts helping us out um, and helping us for the research portion of the actual uh, catch can install. But um, I mean, that's what YouTube's for, right? To like reach out and talk with each other and get ideas, bounce ideas off of each other and whatnot. So hopefully this uh, tutorial is helpful for you guys. Um, like I said, it's just pretty easy, pretty short and pretty cheap. Um, I got the two T's for like $4 a piece. I got the hose for like, I think it was like 20, $25. And then also the catch can for 25 bucks. So. Overall, it's under 60 bucks for a total install. But if you guys find this uh, tutorial helpful for you guys, hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. We're trying to reach for 3,000 so we can get that uh, giveaway going out for you guys. Um, but again, I appreciate everything. And uh, you guys know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.